Hello guys. Hello guys. I cannot tell if we are live or not. Hopefully we are. Um, okay. I think I think we're definitely live now. So hey guys, I hope everybody is doing well. This is Gina and I am coming to you live from my house. So you may um if you've watched any of my lives before, you may recognize that we are back in my dining room tonight. It is storming outside, by the way, so just uh, thundering like crazy right now. But um, tonight, what we're going to be looking at and what we're going to be talking about is um, styling, restyling, transitioning, changing out your tiered tray, okay? So, um, I know that back in end of June, um, I did tiered tray styling and we did a patriotic theme. So, it's August and I decided it is time to change that out. And so, I want to share with you guys kind of what I came up with. It was harder than I thought when I was thinking about what am I going to do for August um, decorating. How am I going to do change out my tray? Um, and but I will tell you what I ended up deciding to do, and my my inspiration piece, which is kind of the anchor for um, what I'm going to show you. So you can kind of see a little bit behind me here. By the way, if y'all watched my chalk paint um, DIY, then you can see my mirror here behind me that I chalk painted. I am. I'm loving it. It is definitely um, looking super cute these days with the chalk paint on there. So, so anyway, I was thinking about, okay, how are we going to um, change out the tiered tray? What's going to be the best option here when we're thinking about the fact that it's August? Now, some of you out there are fall fanatics. I'm not one of those people. Um, so, I'm not already ready to think about um, decorating for fall. If you are, semi-non-judgmental here. It's too early. Don't decorate for fall yet. So here's what um, I ended up deciding to do. I'm going to share with you guys first. Um, by the way, I, you may have seen that I've shown some things with those amazingly cute tropical leaves lately. I am totally loving that um, tropical leaf pattern. So that was somewhat of my inspiration for um, how I was going to change out here um, the tiered tray and, and my little buffet area where I where I have that decorated. But I'm going to show you the piece that really inspired um, everything that I'm that I'm going to do and show you here for my tiered tray tonight. And it is this cute thing. This is the pineapple, obviously. I did it in black and white and I'm trying to get close enough. Okay, here we go. Get close enough that you guys can see my technique that I have here. This is called burn it. This is one of the techniques that we teach in the studio. I hope that you guys can see that. So this cute little guy um, was my inspiration piece. So this is kind of the anchor. And so I thought, God, I really love the look of this. And black and white is just so classic when it comes to design. When you're thinking about transitioning from kind of, you still want to be a little bit summery because let's face it, it is hot, hot, hot outside. Thunder rumbling right now. I don't know if it's um, doing that at your house, but it's super hot outside. So it's, it's still summer, right? So we want to be summery. Um, so that was kind of where I, the direction I headed in. And then I loved how this turned out. And I loved the burn it technique um, and the black and white. So this was kind of, this is what I'm calling my anchor piece. This was my inspiration piece that everything else that I'm doing for my tiered tray and my buffet area back here behind me, this is where it all came from. Okay, so pineapple, welcome. So I'm gonna put this back here. Okay, you guys can see that hopefully. Now, I'm going to pull this up because I already put this back here. If you guys can see, this is the cutest little um, black and white leaf. I scored this beauty on clearance at Hobby Lobby 
was super excited about it and knew that it was going to look amazing with everything that I'm doing for my tear tray. So I thought it was perfect, if you guys can see that. I thought it was the perfect um, complement to the tiered tray. Gives something really cute in the background. Now, this is kind of a departure for me because typically I am, this is not my typical kind of decor that I'm going to do, but I really fell in love with um, the look of this black and white and I decided to stick to that thing that you're gonna see in a second because I am a color loving girl and I love color so much and so I couldn't just go full on just all black and white and not have some pops of color. So I'm gonna show you um, how I'm gonna work some pops of color in. So while I was clearance shopping, at Hobby Lobby, I found this cute thing. Okay, so notice um, this brass accent, the black and white dots. I loved it, it fit my thing. Did I say it was on clearance? Because it was on clearance. And so I'm gonna stick this up here on my tray. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. So that's gonna be, you know, when you're building a tiered tray, you want a variety of textures, a variety of materials, just, different heights, you want to vary what you're putting on your tray to create some really good visual interest. I know we talked about that the last time, but it's a really good reminder of when you're building out your tray, how to go about doing that. Of course, you know, I'm always looking for things that I can pull from around my house that I can use in um, any other spot. So, you know, as you're undecorating um, one area and you're working to redecorate, think of things like that you can sort of recycle, so to speak, into what you're going to put out um, in terms of the new decorating that you're doing. So I like to try to find things that are going to, you know, maybe have some longevity. So when I was thinking about the whole black and white kind of theme, um, you know, black and white, if you're thinking about that buffalo check, that buffalo um, check pattern, um, black and white, whether it's like a grain sack um, cloth pattern. It's so popular and really good for fall. So I definitely felt like a couple of these um, finds that I, especially this one, okay, maybe not necessarily my cute little tropical leaf back there, especially this find. Um, it's something that I think I can rework and transition as I am when I change this out and, and definitely move into like a fall themed tiered tray. So with all of that being said, always think about what can I pull from around my house and reuse. So one of the things, let me see, ooh, that's a stretch, let me grab this. One of the things um, that you're gonna see that I use a lot are these, okay? So these little balls um, that are just wrapped in um, twine, these are vase fillers and they're pretty inexpensive. When you buy a package of them, you get a lot in a package like 10 bucks and you get a whole little box full of these and there's so many things that you can do with those so many ways to use them and it works you can make things like this work all year round in your decor so what i have got these put in if you guys can see that okay going with my leaf okay i dumped those out here we go going with my leaf motif in the black and white i found this so thought this was cute and really fit, so I'm just putting in these little vase filler, vase fillers, okay, to put into, into this little bowl here. Now, when you're thinking about building out your tiered tray, remember, use the surface around it, especially if you're using an area like I am, where it's on a buffet table, don't be afraid to use some of the space around it. So you're really decorating um, the entire table and not just the tray. Now, if you've got a tiered tray and it's in a tighter space, say it's in your kitchen and it's in, you know, maybe a corner area of your cabinets where they where the countertop meets or however you've got it, you may not have quite as much luxury to sort of spread out as I do. But if you've got a little bit of room, um, use it. Don't be afraid to use it, okay? So one of the things that I knew when I'm thinking about small, cute little wood signs, because no tiered tray, okay, if you are Pinterest obsessed like me, no tiered tray is complete without cute wooden signs. 
I mean, you got to have it, right? So when I was thinking about what did I want to do for some cute wooden signs for my kind of black and white, tropical themed, it's still summer, <laughs> tiered tray, I knew that I wanted a little sign that said this because it's adorable. You are my sunshine. All right, so I made this. So this is definitely something you can come and find um, in my retail at the studio. Um, this little sign is only $10, so super cute. So you are my sunshine. So that, of course, is going to have to get placed um, on the tray. And then um, uh, we talked about variety and having some different textures, some different greenery. Here is my adorable little fake plant. Okay, I know for you real plant lovers, um, you're probably slapping your fingers at me right now, but sometimes the struggle is real enough to keep the humans alive, let alone plants on a tray. Okay, so I've got my fake plant and I love it and I'm going to stick it here on the bottom. Okay, so there's my fake little plant. And then you want to have, again, I'm good, I bought um, or pulled out from my base filler stuff, this big, larger twine ball. So it's gonna go on the bottom, all right? And then this, I scored this, um, I don't know, probably back in early spring um, on clearance at Hobby Lobby. And I thought, gosh, it's it, it's got the bump, bumpy things, and it's kind of looks a little bit like a pineapple. So I loved that it was clear. I loved that it was glass. I loved that it has the little bumps on it that sort of looks pineapple-ish, right? Is that a word? If not, it's a word now. And so I thought that is going to be perfect to reuse in this space for the tray. Okay, so then I've got this little gold leaf bowl. This, you know, probably is something if you wanted to, if you were using it in your bedroom, you could put rings or jewelry or something in it, but I loved it and I loved the fact that it matched the lid of the one that I showed you earlier. Okay, so this brass accent and the brass in the leaf. So I wanted to pull that out, so I found this and could not resist um, putting this here because it's fitting into my tropical um, summery theme. So it's going to go over here. Now I've been holding off. Ah, thank you, Paula. Thank you for loving my word pineapple ish. Maybe that's what I said. Maybe I'm even changing it now. Okay. So, I told you guys that I, that I do love color, like I'm, I'm excited about the black and white, that I'm a color loving girl. So I do love color, and so I'm so excited to show you my color pop, okay? I um, am in love with this color. You may know this if you have seen me talk about my um, tray with the tropical leaves from before. The color is cran apple, guys, and it is absolutely the cutest color. Okay, I'm gonna show you my tray just because I am so obsessed. Look at it, look at that cran apple. I am so obsessed with this tray. This tray, I mean really, like the black and white pineapple, yes, that was my inspiration, but honestly, let's just be real. This tray is my true inspiration. <laughs> Your mom says you're boring. Well, but. Brandy, black and white and gray, it's classic. It's timeless. So really what you probably are is truly classy. That's what I'm thinking, right? Truly classy. So cran apple is my pop of color. So I could not resist making this cute little sign. I had to put some tropical leaves on it and notice, I'm going to try to put this where you guys can see, notice the cran apple. That's my pop of color for the tray. Okay, so I'm going to put this Oops. Okay, note to self, when you are putting wooden signs, don't knock your rolling balls off. Okay, so I'm going to put this on the bottom. Okay, maybe. <laughs> Thank you, Althea. Um, so it's going to go there. So I've got my little pop of color. Well, I love it. Thank you, Paula. Ah, favorite color green. I know, right? So you've got a little bit of green in here. So it matches in the greenery and you're thinking about tropical and leaves and green. So it's perfect. My tray is on my dining room table, but 
I needed some more accessories. And so if you haven't figured it out by now, I love Hobby Lobby clearance for the things like this. So look at this cute thing that I found at Hobby Lobby. It's a little more muted than my cream apple, but it definitely is in that color, um, that same line of color. And so I loved it. I felt like it was going to really complement. And so this is gonna go right back here on the tray. Now I've got some pictures that I took before I disassembled this when I was putting it together to begin with. So I'll post those in the comments. And if you are not on my email list, you definitely wanna get on there because you're gonna see some fun things in my email as well. But that's my crown apple. And then how can I get so lucky to find, look at how stinking adorable. This on the clearance at um, Hobby Lobby. Again, Ella loves Hobby Lobby clearance too. Yeah, Ella, I knew we were kindred spirits, right? Brandy says her whole house is gray and white, and then my de decor has some colors, <gasps> but it's farmhouse rustic distress thing. Brandy, it sounds beautiful. You need to post some pictures of your house, and maybe I need to come and do a live there, and we can just like do a tour. Brandy's home. Let's just look and drool. We could definitely make that happen. It sounds like a great um, event, but I found this, so it kind of blended in. It pulled out my cran apple loving self and the cran apple thing so i thought you know this would be super cute to just place on the the buffet table okay so that's there maybe i'll put the other gold leaf over here okay something along those lines right so if you have been staring at behind me i'm going to show you guys this i put this little plank on the wall now i'm Super not supposed to tell you guys this yet because this is part of our new release, which is not releasing, let's see, until Friday. But shh, don't tell, okay? If anybody else is watching um, from Nailed It, you didn't see this, okay? Brandy, it sounds beautiful. Okay, so look, are you ready? Oh, pattern! Okay, look at how beautiful this is. And notice what I did, guys. My little pop of my, do you know how hard it is to move your finger when you're looking at the camera backwards? Okay, my little pop of crane apple right there. This cute thing is, we have got this new release that's gonna be amazing, you're gonna love it. Seriously, you're gonna drool about it because Amy, who is our designer for Nailed It, Althea, I know, isn't it gorgeous? Amy, who is one of our, who is our like top designer, Brandy likes it. See, Brandy, you could put in a little pop of color there and it would be um, easy peasy and not so, not so in your face. Or you could just go classic black and white since that's your house. But she hand drew this and we've got some amazing patterns that are coming out. Black and white, Brandy says, awesome. We've got some amazing patterns that are coming out. This is just one of them hand drawn. Like, I don't know how she does it. Basically, she is a genius and amazing, and we are so lucky that um, she designs for us at Nailed It. Paula says she's gonna redo a small bookcase into a bathroom cabinet. <gasps> the color she chose is close to my cream apple. I love it, Paula. I've gotta see it, you've gotta share. So, I made this, okay, and just put a little nail here. Clearly, I'm not very good at hanging things up um, when I'm trying to talk at the same time, okay? Can you rub your stomach and pat your head at the same time? I don't know, can anybody do that? Clearly I can't, but I thought it really brought everything together and I loved the pattern and um, I just couldn't resist making it. Ah, uh, Brandy, met, yes, Bonnie is in trouble because she came without you, so you definitely are gonna have to make her um, bring you back for sure. So that is my um, little buffet tiered tray area. I'm going to try to move this because I have this, can you guys see that? I have this letter board in the corner here because I've got that little bit of stretch of wall right there. And so I put um, Stand Tall Be Sweet since my pineapple here was my inspiration. So I put, oh, thank you, Paula. So that changes out and kind of fits with the theme. Um, I should have shown you guys that when I had my patriotic. I had um, Freedom Isn't Free on it. So that's just something fun to change out and keep fresh and, and fun in the house. So 
that is my tiered tray. You guys will have to let me know in my buffet what you think about my black and white pop of um, crane apple color um, display here. I'll post up some pictures in the comments because I've got some cute pictures that, that you can kind of see everything closer and maybe see how everything's blending together. Again, this was a little bit of a stretch for me in terms of decor, but I am loving how it came together. I'm so excited um, to show this to you guys. Hope that you enjoyed it. Of course, you can come and make things like this in the studio. Aw, oh, thank you. Amy, shh, don't tell anybody. I bragged about how amazing you are, but don't tell anybody that I gave a sneak peek too soon. Um, yeah, Neil, that sign is for him, right? Be sweet. Stand tall. Be sweet. That is pure 100% description of Neil. No doubt about it, Paula. Absolutely. Definitely him. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, you guys have a great night. Stay safe as the thunder is continuing to rumble out there, and I can't wait to see you all in the studio real soon. Have a great evening.